There are quite a few fish species that I've dedicated a ton of time on the water in order to catch on the fly. Largemouth, smallmouth, brown trout, and even catfish make that list. But never have I landed a striper on the fly. Considering my home waters are absolutely teeming with big striper, and this is the perfect time of year to catch them, it was time to cross another species off the list. Boys, I just hooked into a gigantic striper. Oh my God, I can't do anything. I can't do anything. He's got like 40 yards out. He's about to get to my backing. Yes, yes. Look at that, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> a little smally. <laughs> There's a giant carp up here. I thought I had him. A little tiny smally. Start the day. Where did that big old shark go? That's him right there. Oh my god, no way. So the same smally? <laughs> That's crazy. I'm pretty sure that carp is still kind of just sitting up in there. Well boys, I just hooked up into a really nice smallmouth. I hit record as soon as he came up and ate. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't get that eat on camera, but that was sick. I'm back in this little cut. <clears throat> I've just hooked into the first fish of the day and it's not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. I guess I should get my net ready. Pull this sucker in. <laughs> he ain't ready. I really wish I would have gotten that eat on camera. He was sitting right under this rock and he just came up and hammered my streamer as soon as it came across his face. Really nice fish. Really, really nice. Great one to start out. There we go. Alrighty. It's a short fish, but chunky. Looks like he had a little piece of his back kind of cut out. Big bird came down and tried to eat him probably. Man, he is he is absolutely thick. Short guy, but I mean thick as thick as they come. Eat that streamer. It's a nice fish to start out the day. Thank you, buddy. We'll see you later. There it goes. Alright, man. I had a feeling there'd be a fish in this hole. This mound of dirt looks like it's full of crayfish holes. I'm sure this is kind of a hot spot for smallmouth eating on craze. Make sure I pick it apart back here. Oh, that was a smallie. Little guy. See if he comes back. <laughs> Might have been a bluegill. Alright, keep it moving. Oh, yep, there he is. <laughs> Little bluegill. Pretty though. Whatever it is. I can never identify these things. Maybe a long ear. I don't know. Eating the streamer. Pretty wild. Guy ate it on the retrieve. Perfect time for the sun to come out. See that fish. Absolutely beautiful fish. See you, dude. Thanks for playing. Holy smokes. Look at all those gar. I bet I can get one to eat. A ton of gar right in front of me, guys. Tons of gar. Just sitting kind of down at the bottom of this hole. 
They did not look like they were interested in eating anything, that's for sure. It's a big old gar though. Oh yeah, they're right here, right in front of me. Look at that. No way. Ha! Huh. They do not want it. Alright, well we've seen a lot of fish. Some gar. Seen plenty of smallmouth, saw a big carp. The river is alive. Giant striper. Gigantic striper down there. I mean, humongous striper. Yep, right here. I see him. I see him. Alright, boys. It's time to get one of these suckers. Once and for all. Boys, I just hooked into a gigantic striper. Gigantic striper. Oh my god. Oh, it's a giant. It's a giant, 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 giant. Absolute giant, dude. Absolute giant striper. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. I literally just tied this giant streamer on. Before I even hit record, I took one cast out there. <laughs> this thing absolutely slammed it, dude. This is a giant, giant striper. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is gonna be a fight and a half, boys. This is gonna be a fight and a half. That's a giant, dude. Oh my god. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. He's got like 40 yards out. He's about to get to my backing. I gotta go. It's a giant. It's a giant, giant. Absolute giant striper. Whoo, that was close. Boy, that was a run. I haven't even seen this thing yet. Has he worn himself out? Get my net ready. Oh my God. It's not an absolute stud, but for my first striper on the fly, it's a good one. It's an absolute good one. Let's get him over to the shallow stuff. Come on, dude. Come on this way. Come on this way. Smallies running around everywhere. Uh, he's not done. He ain't done. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Come on, fish. Uh, he ain't done. Here he is. I don't know how deep it is through here, but I'd like to get him over here. Oh, I'm getting my shit wet. It's all good. It's all good. Oh. oh, that was deeper than I thought. All right, fish, come on. <laughs> He's not ready. I don't want to put too much pressure on him, but I really do want to get him in. He's in this muddy water, so a little disoriented. Oh my God, dude, that's a nice striper. That is a nice striper. Oh, come on. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. No, 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 no. I had him. I should have had him. He's got to be worn out, man. All right, fish. Come on, dude. Oh my God. He's still running. Come on, fish. Oh, big striper, baby. Big striper. Ah. Yes. Yes, yes, look at that baby. 
Oh my God. Yes. I freaking did it, man. Look at that striper, boys. Yes, sir. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? That's a fatty, bro. Oh my God. This is a monster striper on the fly, baby. Oh my God. Are you kidding me, dude? my first striper on the fly and it's an absolute freaking stud right, i want to take good care of this fish so i'm gonna get this streamer out of him i've been keeping him in the in the water this whole time so i'm gonna get the streamer out of him and get him put back make sure she's nice and ready to rock before i let go of her that was a long fight so she's got to be a little exhausted there she goes she's ready there she goes. There she goes. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Let's freaking go, man. Let's go. Bro, I can't believe I wasn't even recording when I hooked into that fish. And I knew it was gonna happen. As soon as I tied on that streamer, I was like, man, this thing looks really freaking good for a striper to come up and chew. And sure enough, he did. Oh my God, dude, that was so sick. Well, boys, what an absolutely epic fish. I've been fishing out here at this river for a very long time now, over a year, and I've been just searching for a fish like that to catch on the fly. I've actually never caught a striper on the fly. That was the first one, and that thing was absolute beast. It gave me a run for my money for sure. So unfortunately, I didn't get that bite on camera. I had a feeling like maybe I wasn't recording because I kind of rushed into tying the fly and getting my next cast out there, but. Um, this fly I've got on, it's kind of like a rainbow trout pattern. It's tough to see because it's wet, but it's kind of a, a rainbow trout pattern. I figured, you know, they do release trout in this stream, or at least in a neighboring stream. So I figured the striper probably do eat the trout this time of year when the water's still cold enough for those trout to exist. Man, that was incredible. Well, what started as a uh, smallmouth day, has quickly turned into a striper day. <laughs> and I'm not upset about it. Just to give you guys kind of the, an idea of the layout here, I was right standing right over there, casting into this, this really, really deep hole where I saw the striper. And I hooked into him from over there, and I made my way all the way around to that sandy area. What I didn't realize is in between here and that sandy area, there's another little cutout and it got pretty deep on me. So if we hook into another one, we'll have to be mindful of that. I was also, uh, I cast the streamer out there and let it sink for just a few seconds and then I was stripping like a madman. Trying to get that fish to, or that streamer to dance in front of that fish. So I think that could be a good strategy. I've always heard that when you're streamer fishing for these big striper you want to be stripping your streamer in extremely quickly so that's what i'm gonna do Yeah, giant smallmouth. Yeah, baby. Oh my God. Not a not an absolute giant, but a good one. <sighs> oh my God, dude. <laughs> I watched him come up. Oh, there he goes. Watched him chase that thing and then he just paused right when he got to it. Oh, let's go, baby. Oh yeah, nice smallmouth. Nice smallmouth. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. It's a good one. It's an absolute good one. Oh yeah. Nice long smallmouth. <coughs> Come on in here, dude. Much less of a fight than that striper, that's for sure. Come on, buddy. Yeah, dude. Freaking nice smallmouth, man. Check that out, boys. I've got the same streamer that I've been throwing 
for the striper. Got that same streamer on and he chased it on out. There he is. Dude, that's a nice one. Not bad at all. Nice smallmouth. Sweet. Absolutely choke that streamer. Really good one. Get a little underwater. A little underwater action. Chilling. There he goes. Nice. All right, man. This little rainbow trout streamer is getting it done today. Striper and the smallies are loving it. There's some big ones over there. Yeah, smally. Nice smally. Not what I was looking for. There are a couple gar. Yeah, here they are. Gar right out in front of that smally. Not a bad smally though. I'll take it. I will take it. I might get this gar stirred up. They just might. Yeah, there we go. Not a bad smallie. See you, dude. Yeah. All right, folks, before we end this video today, I wanted to, as always, go over the setup that I'm using in the video. Make sure you guys understand exactly what rod, what reel, what line I'm using, as well as my leader system and tippet. First off, my rod, I have the Axiom 2X. This is a nine foot seven weight. This is my go-to streamer rod. If you've been watching videos recently, you know that this is kind of exclusively what I use if I'm throwing streamers. And then the reel I have paired with that is the TFO NTR. And then the line I have on here is a uh, sync tip line. This is the SA frequency. I actually have the box here. So this is the SA frequency weight forward seven sync tip line. I really love this line. My leader system is pretty simple. So I start with a 16 pound fluorocarbon. This is the Orvis Mirage. Um, so I start with about two and a half, three feet of this. Sometimes I'll even go up as far as four feet. Sometimes I'll go down to like as little as two feet. Uh, it just depends on water clarity, what I'm fishing for. Um, but in this case, I had about two and a half, three feet of this 16 pound. And then down from that, I had uh, the Zero X Orvis Mirage about a foot and a half, two feet of this. You know, sometimes I'll go lighter than this, especially, it, it's funny because in this case, I was fishing for smallmouth and I happened to run into the striper. Obviously, I know that there's striper in this river. I've fished here a million times and I'm always hoping to run into them, but it wasn't exactly what I was targeting on this day. So it is kind of a coincidence that I had the heavier line on because sometimes if I'm fishing for smallmouth, I'll go down to like a 2X. I'll taper from 0X down to 1X down to 2X to turn over those flies. But in this case, I did have 0X as kind of my last section of tippet which I'm very thankful for because truth be told, um, I do want to go a little bit heavier when I'm targeting those striper. Obviously this striper wasn't a true giant, probably 26, 27 incher, um, a heavy fish obviously, but you know, there's 35, 40 pound striper out here in this river. So I don't want to go lower than maybe 13 pounds. Um, and you know, even sometimes if I'm targeting like really, really big fish, I'll just stick with a 16 pound. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I'm not trying to like turn over these big flies and make like, you know, 40 foot casts. Obviously that's, that's way further than I'm trying to cast. Most of the time I'm really just like kind of turning over the fly uh, in a short amount of space. So I'm not false casting a bunch. You know, you don't have to taper your leader off. It's more important to, to know that if you hook into a big fish, you're not gonna break off because your line is too light. 
rather than to be able to cast, you know, 30 plus feet. So that's my entire setup. As for the fly, I know I did say in the video that I'd show you guys this. This is the fly that I used to catch that striper. Obviously like somewhat of a rainbow trout pattern. And as I mentioned, this river does get stocked with trout. Those striper do eat those rainbow trout throughout the, uh, throughout the winter. Um, and even now, so I figured a rainbow trout pattern would probably work for these fish. So that's everything for my setup. Just really quick, some thoughts on the day. You know, obviously this is my first striper. Some of you may have watched that and thought, gosh, he's saying it's a gigantic striper, it's a monster, and it's only like 26, 27 inches. Obviously that's not a true monster striper, and I understand that. But for me, you know, at the in the moment, um, especially like when I first hooked into the fish and I hadn't seen the fish yet, I did think it was a monster because that's the biggest fish I've ever caught on the fly, period. You know, let alone the first striper I've caught. So, um, <laughs> you know, in the moment I was obviously very excited. For a 26, 27 incher, that fish was really, really healthy. That fish had obviously been feeding really well, had a nice thick tail, and really you know healthy healthy fish which is a good sign right it means that the river is healthy you know this year uh, i've talked to some guys around the area that also catch striper and they've said you know they're having a good year out there so it's really good to see but that's going to do it for me guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave us a like subscribe if you're not subscribed already and remember all it takes is one baby slab out <laughs>